Hey guys, well, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a really great day. In this video, I am going to build two of these shelves and I need to replace these three black shelves here, these plastic shelves uh, that you guys know. I've been running these plastic shelves now for about almost two years now. And my main thing, the reasons why I want to do that is because I want to have shelves which I can move around. And another reason why is because it's winter time right now. So I'm trying to figure out how to winterize the basement here that I have um, all of my crypto mining rigs. And it's, it's really cold right now. And upstairs in this house is also extremely cold. And you know, even if I have this exhaust fan on, and even when I turn it on the lowest power setting, it's, it's still decently cold. So I kind of want to move around my crypto mining rigs and th that's the reasons why I want to have the wheels. So I'm going to like put all the mining rigs I have on these plastic shelves onto these metal ones and then I'm just going to test around what kind of way I should have my shelves. So whether or not I'm going to have like a shelf here, another shelf there, and then I'll have this third one here, which is the exact same shelf as uh, these two right here. Uh, and you know having a place like that so I don't know which orientation where I'm gonna like split up my mining rigs because I need to bring the heat out uh, into this direction up that door so I don't know if I should just maybe get like an inline fan or maybe I can just use this shop fan to bring forth the heat uh, along that way so that the heat can go upstairs I don't know I'm not gonna like you know buy some like HVAC tubing and like drill through the uh, ceiling here and put out the heat out that way I I'm not gonna do that I was thinking about putting a tube up through the exhaust fan like taking out the exhaust fan and uh, doing an inline fan and having the heat go up into uh, above here where the house is but I don't know I'm not sure I know it's winter right now and I know you guys also have similar situations where you know you guys are turning on your mining rigs or you're placing them in different areas in your house instead of using like baseboard heaters or electric heaters or even gas heaters we're, we're using our mining rigs to heat up our house so yeah so that's my reasonings why I got these shelves but anyways let's go ahead and build some shelves I'm just gonna do it really fast here in three two one okay first shelf is built I still have to build the second one but I just want to do some explaining here uh, before I build the second one just to show you guys something so I tried to make it the exact same like shelf height as my other like crypto mining frame here it's the exact same shelf here and so you guys can see I made it very level uh, everything's the same in terms of where I have the middle parts here placed so very similar because eventually I do want to fit like p potentially VETA frames on the shelf as you guys know I do have some rigs here with VETA frames and uh, some aluminum angle but that'll fit for sure but I measured the VETA frame height and it's about 15 inch from the top here all the way down to the bottom of the leg so that's 15 inches and it, it fits perfectly uh, in between here. I can fit VETA frames on this part of the shelf as well as the bottom here. The bottom part here is only about 14 inches so I cannot fit VETA frames down here but I can fit extra parts and whatever so I'll have one, two, three potential spots for VETA frames or AAA wave mining frames. So the same thing the AAA wave frames are also 15 inch height and that will fit uh, on the shelf here or potentially uh, server racks uh, you guys can see here I may potentially put these uh, which are not high at all uh, so that that should be fine okay so the first shelf it looks good it's definitely much bigger than the black shelves here in terms of height you guys can see uh, this this shelf is actually much higher uh, but yeah this will be much much better and I'm so glad that I can roll this and uh, we can do some testing in terms of uh, the heat for well for myself anyway <laughs> just for the heat all right guys all right time to build the second one that was a pretty decent amount of work all right and with the power of YouTube three two one and there we go you guys can see I have the second shelf up and I did totally screwed it up actually <laughs> I'll just show you guys my mistake here so you guys can see I made this one a little bit higher. This one's actually the perfect measurements, uh, 15 inches in between each of the levels here. Uh, this one I screwed up, so I'm gonna have to fix this later. Anyways, guys, I just had a thought. While I was making these two shelves, I was actually thinking that I may be able to just utilize one of these shelves. Actually, hold on, let me just move this out here and let me show you the current mining rigs. Oh, I'm gonna hit something. Nope, that's okay. All right, so let's go see the my mining rigs I have currently. So I have 
six on these black shelves right now. I have a 1060 three gigabyte rig, my single Radeon 7. I have the 8x RX480 rig, eight gigabyte cards. And then I have my Radeon 7 rig. And then I have my 1080 Ti rig. And then I have a P104 rig. So I may be able to put all six of these rigs on to one shelf. And I actually did some measuring. So I did some measuring between here and uh, to the length of these VETA frames. And actually, I may be able to put all six rigs onto one shelf, and this one right here, because uh, I screwed up on this shelf here. Okay, so I think that is something I wanna do, and I think it'll be easier for me to manage everything on one shelf. My networking switch right here, as well as the PDU, uh, which I'll show you guys how much amperage I'm using, about 12 amps and 12 amps on this side. So we are fully utilizing the 80% rule on this 30 amp trip light PDU. So that's the next step I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna shut down all of these rigs here and we're gonna slowly put on each rig and uh, then we'll see if it's okay or not. So give me one sec. Okay, guys, I have actually one thing I wanted to show you just before I shut everything down. And I just wanna show you all the temperatures of each of those six rigs, okay? So the first one here is my 1080 Ti rig, uh, which I'm using the Ethan Largeman pill. I'm mining Ethereum, of course. And each of the GPUs right now are getting about 46 to 47 mega hash. But the temperatures are, this is what I wanna record for myself and you guys can see as well. So 56 degrees Celsius, 48, 57, 54, 55, and 56. So temperatures for our 1080 Ti's are really good. Now let's go to my Radeon 7 rig. And uh, my Radeon 7 rig is doing just amazing right now. Let's just go, I have to zoom up here a little bit. Okay, so we're getting about 55, 55, 55, 56, 54, and 57 degrees Celsius on my Radeon 7s, so that's pretty good. And the mega hash numbers you can see here, I'm getting about 488 mega hash for the whole rig, and so that one's doing really well. Okay, the next rig I have here is my P104 rig, and this one's getting about 36 to 37 mega hash, and you guys can see the temperatures right there. And the next rig here is my RX480 rig, it's getting about 250 to 251 mega hash, and the highest like temperature on these cards is the is 61 degrees Celsius on this rig. I don't see anything higher. It looks like they're all below 55 degrees uh, minus that 61. So that one's pretty good. And now let's go to my single Radeon 7, which you guys know I have mining on NiceHash, uh, AKA NiceHack at the moment. And this one's at 60 degrees. So this one's a little bit hotter. And the mega hash number, we are getting about 85 mega hash. And now the final sixth rig that I have is the 1063 gigabyte rig. And the temperatures for all these GPUs are looking like about under 61 degrees Celsius. Okay, so there we go. That's the temperature of all six of the rigs. And actually I wanna verify the outside ambient temperature uh, before I turn everything off. So let's go to the temperature reading here. You guys can see we're about 88 Fahrenheit or 34 degrees Celsius uh, in the ambient area over here. And if we go to the temperature over here, it's about 92 Fahrenheit, so not too bad. It is about the evening right now. And actually, if we go to the other temperature meters by my window, uh, just to show you guys what the temperature is outside of my place here, it is 10 degrees Celsius and 52 Fahrenheit, okay? The air that's coming in from the outside is this temperature, and it, it is extremely, extremely cold, okay? Well, not like negative temperatures, but it's it's definitely, you know, doing really well and the heat is coming through and uh, extracting. But the whole point of this video is to actually keep the heat in and I want to bring it up. So yeah, <laughs> that's the whole point. All right, so let me just shut down all the rigs now and uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to do that manually through Windows. Give me one sec. Okay, all of the six rigs are off and I thought it would be a lot quieter in here but because of my ASICs, it's extremely loud still. So that's unfortunate. All right, guys, I'm gonna try to move all the rigs onto here in one go. So I'm not gonna montage that. So I'll be right back and we'll see if it works in three, two, one. Okay guys, 
and it's all done. I moved all of the rigs that were on these block shelves and it all fit onto this one metal shelf. I am kind of afraid that it might be too much of a load, but I did read the box and it said that there was a maximum here. With the wheels, or just the shelf by itself, it says it holds about 800 pounds. With the wheels, it's about 800 pounds as well. But if I were using the leveling feet instead, then it would be 4,800 pounds, which is crazy. But I don't think I have 800 pounds worth of mining rigs. So I think that is pretty good. You guys can let me know down below if it's uh, you guys think this will hold or not. But the biggest reason is now I can roll the mining rig shelf uh, into a position where I think that would help with heat dissipation and help with heating the house. I have absolutely no idea if this is gonna work. I'm definitely not a HVAC specialist, but you guys can see I have all the mining rigs placed so that all the heat and all the fans are blowing in that direction. Okay, so I have all the Delta fans, I have all the GPUs that dissipate the heat that way. Well, they're kind of like going this way, but then they're also being forced out this way. But you guys can see, generally, I have all the fans and all the rigs pointing this way. Uh, let's just go to the front here. Oh man, I'm stuck. Okay, you guys can see why I also did this project, because I need to use uh, these shelves as inventory, uh, just so I can put all the stuff I have on the floor onto those shelves. I think I mentioned that earlier. Okay, but you guys can see, man, does that look good or what? I'm so happy that it all fits on one shelf. And you guys can see the aftermath. I had to take out all my network cables, power cables, uh, my network switch, which I have to put back up. And I'm gonna do that in another video, not in this video. But yeah, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty tired. I forgot to mention I used my air blower to blow all the dust out of all the mining rigs. There was just so much dust. I was gonna do a video on that, but I was like, Ah, not enough time. I just want to do this and all the rigs are clean, but I'm kind of afraid that some of the rigs are not going to work, especially my Radeon 7 rig. I know when I move this thing, something may happen. So stay tuned in the video later. I will let you guys know. We're going to get it all running. I have to run the PDU, uh, which I just have on the side there for now. And I want to figure out a placement where I'm going to be putting the mining shelf, okay? So guys, we'll, we'll do that in another video, but please let me know your thoughts on any orientations where I should have that ASIC shelf and this new shelf. Where should I place it in the basement here? Okay, so for those that are watching to the very end, give me your ideas. Should I just do like sideways here? Or what I mentioned was that I wanted all the heat to come this way because uh, I have all the fans facing this way. So let me know your thoughts on that. And similar thing, I'm thinking of doing that as well, just flipping it over this way so that the heat would be coming this way. And of course, I'm thinking also putting it in front of the exhaust fan on this angle here. I would turn off that fan, possibly take it out for the winter, but then also just have the window open and just have some airflow going into here and then all the hot air would be pushed out into there. And then maybe I can set some inline fans over there. Okay guys, well that's it for this video. Please let me know your thoughts. And uh, yeah, I appreciate you all and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one and peace out.